Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video and this is actually a brand new series. Uh, just to let you guys know, this is post commentary just for this intro because the intro for the live version of it was a little bit jank but just to kind of explain what is going on, this is the how to get good series. Basically a series where I use a weapon and I basically talk about its two variants during the video through live gameplay. For example, if a weapon is a support, is it an aggressive weapon, just certain things that I'm going to be doing. Basically telling you guys what I'm thinking as I'm playing the weapon that I'm trying to educate you guys on. It's sort of going to be like a short version of the tearing up series, but instead you guys exactly pick the weapon. And I have the idea of keeping episodes relatively short basically around the 10 to 20 minute region and of course you got the addition of the hand cam so basically you get to see what my hands are looking like when i'm using a certain weapon so today's episode's weapon is going to be the 96 gal and 96 style deco since the weapon only has two variants i'm going to be starting off with the regular 96 gal which comes with sprinkler and armor it's a fairly long range weapon and this is the build that i'm also going to be running when using it so I hope you guys enjoy and also one note, my microphone audio is a little bit loud but I've tried to edit it a little bit so it's not destroying you guys' ears. So figured I should let you guys know that and let's get into the games. Okay, we have just got into the, the game. It took a little bit because, uh, well actually it didn't take any time at all, but I didn't even, I guess one thing, there's a little wire here. This is just so I can hear the game too, so. Anyway, away we go. It is Splat Zones. Now, the 96 cal, since I should explain it, this one is somewhat of a support kind of weapon, as you see here. Uh, you do build armor pretty quickly if you use the combination of the sprinkler and the weapon itself. Uh, you can do a lot of slaying with it, if, bear in mind if you have a good amount of main power up. Personally, my favorite amount is usually like around, I would say, one, well, no, two mains and two subs. Today I'm going to be only running uh, one or one sub with this, but I will have two mains. Now I do hear somebody actually coming from the back. Actually, no, he's on the top there. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, there is a guy on our flank. So I shall do the same to him. Bear in mind as long as his inkjet's still there. There we go. And uh, there's a guy on the left side, so I'm going to toss that sprinkler on the right side. There's only one problem when I'm doing this right now, is just that the camera is in the way of my special screen, <laughs> in the special. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of have the... The only time I will really know that I have special is if, uh, what's it called? Basically if I see my Inkling's hair glowing or that type of stuff. Uh, I guess one thing talking about the 96 as well, I would really think it would be a good thing. If you like have some sort of special charge up, I mean, I don't have it on this build right now. Uh, mainly because, I mean, personally, I kind of wanted to try it out, but you know, it can be extremely helpful if you use uh, a little bit of special charge up too. So that was a pretty quick game, and I feel like I should just play another one. I think I'll play another one with a special charge up build just to kind of show that off a little bit. Uh, but you know. I hope you guys are enjoying like the different perspectives to see what's going on with my hands and uh, what's going on with this. I actually did get two armors, but the second one I didn't have enough time to actually get it out and all that type of stuff. But let me switch up and use the second build. Okay, so this is going to be the second build. It's just I'm just going to change the shoes. Uh, using this weapon, I really do like having like a main and a sub, a special charge up. You can get like armors in like less than ten seconds at this, with this uh, type of build. So gonna go with this and I kind of just want to keep everything the same here just though I do have the efficiency and the bomb defense because I don't want to get rid of the bomb defense I don't have anything really to swap this out right now so uh yeah we're gonna keep it like this and let's get into the next game okay so here we are into the next game uh as you can definitely see controller you're going to see that obviously <laughs> I don't really know what to say honestly but you know here we, here we go all right so we got another game of Starfish main stage. Uh, we've got a pretty interesting comp, no backline. They have backline, they have two midline and a support. So here we go. I'm gonna toss the, the 
sprinkler somewhere, just in a place where no one's, hopefully no one inks. I'm halfway to armor, or pretty close to it. I'm not going to be able to focus armor too quickly. I mean, not from the start like that. Now, there is a guy behind here. I don't have, uh, well, I did have the range to actually take that guy out. And there's also somebody jumping in. Now, I mean, I, I, we're in a kind of a strange situation right here because, you know, the spot I'm in, it's really good to, like, look at the, where that, well, basically where this custom duty sculpture is right now. It's a really good spot to hold that area, but, like, I mean, I didn't really want to just push in because, first of all, I didn't have any of my teammates up. And it wouldn't really make sense for me just to push in alone because if I die, then basically we're not going to ex exactly get anything done. Plus, I had an armor, so I could have just popped out with them uh, as they're coming back up too. So it would have been just super helpful if I just stayed alive and kept it up. Now, very patient on that kill. I hit the first shot and it took a little bit for me to actually get the second shot coming in. I mean, that's just kind of like the inaccuracies with uh, when using a weapon like the 96 because, you know, it is a fairly inaccurate weapon. Uh, if you're not shooting in the correct places, I guess. Or basically not, you know, aiming 100% at the time. Which you kind of have to do because, you know, if you, you want to make sure they're hitting most of your shots. So, uh, But either way, we are definitely winning this game. We're having a pretty good time. There is a dude over here. We do have the booyah on the zone. I, that guy had the armor and I waited it out because... The position I was in, there was no way I was going to, like, be able to take on that Dooley Scorcher at close range like that. Especially if he has an armor, it just kind of makes no sense for me to actually uh, take that out because it's basically assuring my death. So, anyways, I believe this Ely is on the side here. We do have an armor. He's not going to be able to charge his, uh, another shot. So, yeah, he decided to actually go for a jump out there. Perfectly fine for him. There's a guy over here, it's the Junior. My teammate should be able to take that out pretty easily. Gonna paint the zone. And I think we're doing pretty good right here. We are, we're winning. It's a custom Dually Scorcher being the last player alive for their team. I'm actually gonna just kind of toss one of those over there. Actually, that is the custom Dually Scorcher right now, so... You know, should be able to pretty easily hold this pretty well. Uh, I do have armor. I'm gonna actually just gonna pop it now, mainly because I was running out of ink. And so I can actually replenish that too. And there we go! The Elia did DC at the very end, so you know, it's not too bad. But, that was uh, it's a pretty good showing, nevertheless, uh, with uh, what the 96 gal can do in some cases. So, hopefully I explained that well enough to you guys. And now let's go ahead and use the 96 gal deco. Okay, so with the 96 gal deco, there's kind of a, there's many different things I could do with this. Uh, I honestly want to apply stealth jump on this build. And actually, this actually would work pretty well. Now, why the stealth jump? It's because of the splashdown. So wherever you do have like a splashdowning uh, jump to anywhere, uh, basically it'll be covered. Well, basically... Your splashdowning jumps will be unnoticed more often, so it's kind of nice to have stealth jump on the, this particular 96. Uh, but if you do run this in general, make sure you do have a, at least one sub a quick super jump because that will help a huge ton. So make sure you do that. And uh, same amount of main power up, usually like at least a two mains, one sub, or two mains, two subs, whichever. Uh, so it's your boot. And yeah, I think that's all. Got enough efficiency, and I would really love if I could have like a wall or something. Like if I wasn't if I wasn't using stealth jump right now, I'll probably have uh, uh, you know two subs as uh, like two subs ink recovery somewhere. But we're gonna try the stealth jump right now. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Once again, we're going to be using the night six deco. I mean, bear in mind if the games end super quickly, then obviously I might have to do another one, but. You know, usually, like, the idea of this series is just for me to play one game and is just explain uh, the weapon as much as I possibly can while also trying to have a decent game. Now, we're going to just give the guy a booyah since he did give us a nice booyah there, too. So, I'm also going to try my best. I mean, if the situation does come up, I will try to do, like, a splashdown jump uh, just to kind of take advantage of the stealth jump that we do have. 
So, you know, if it comes up, if it comes up, well, if it comes up, then cool. But if it doesn't, then, you know, we tried our best. Now, we got slammed by the Dynamo there, unfortunate for us. But, I mean, it's a good time for us to at least pop in the Stealth Jump. Uh, we're kind of bunched up here, but it should be perfectly fine for me to actually just jump in right, right there. So, Stealth Jump can be very helpful in a lot of situations, I feel. Now, I'm not going to be able to challenge that because that is a Brella. Brella is kind of like the worst nemesis for a 96. I'm just going to keep my distance if I can actually hit that second shot too. I'm just going to jump in. Maybe I can catch anybody off, but you know. Okay. There is a guy on the left side. He's just climbing all the way on the left. Yeah, there we go. Dynamo, there we go. Dead straight away. We have an ink check coming up. On the left. I think that might be the... That must be the Brella. That must be... Brella. Yeah, he's coming from the left. There we go. Alright. It seems like they have no chance in this game. Killed the Junior straight away, but... Either way, they didn't exactly have too much of a chance in that game, so... Uh, but... Yeah, that's gonna be our win for the 96 Deco. I feel the need to do one more. So we're going to give you guys one more. And I'm actually going to stay stay with the same build since uh, there wasn't exactly much reason for me to change anything much. So, shall see you guys in the next game. Okay, so this is going to be the last game whether you guys like it or not because my camera is actually running out of battery right now. <laughs> so, we're going to do this nice and quick and hopefully that I can get the entire game. And if it cuts out, then I mean, it's, I mean, it's fine. It's, uh, you've, got, you've got enough of the, the hand cam action and all that type of jazz, so... Hopefully we can make this another quick game. And, uh, you know, hopefully we also get to use the, you know, the stealth jumping splashdown. Because that'll be super nice to be able to show off to. But, you know, if, it, if the situation comes, it'll come up. Now, I'm just going to be very careful of this flank. Because uh, people do like to do it. It does not seem like anyone's trying to do it at this point. There is a guy over here. I'm going to take him out quickly. That, uh, Stingray is very concerning, though. Oop. Take him out. I kind of want to remove this Dooley Sculpture here. Oh, okay. He's just going to sit there for me. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we got jumps here. I'm actually going to just throw the wall. Yeah, your splashdown is cancelled, my friend. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm actually going to go... Actually, no. We got, we got a player over there watching that already, so... We don't have to push so far on this map, I don't think. Like, especially with a weapon like this. Like, I can reach pretty much anything. And, uh, it's... Oh, no. Uh, 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 I can't believe that got me. Jeez. Well, nice shots from the Jet Scorcher there. We do have a beacon. I should be fine to actually jump to this beacon. Uh, we got people all over the zone right now. But that is also... Well, not too much of a problem, actually. Did I see that correctly? No? Okay. Well, we got a boo up on coming to the zone perfectly fine. No splashdown needed for the zone. Oh, no. I mean, that's actually okay to a certain extent, because uh, what happens there is just me saving my special in this case. Like, a lot of people do need to remember, like, you know, if you do have a splashdown or if and you're, like, in the situation of dying, I just say pop it. Just pop it straight away, because... If you die within your splashdown, you still save 75% of that special, so... I mean, in that case right now, I don't even save it, so... <laughs> it kind of sucks in my case, but... It's fine. We can just stealth jump back in straight away. And, uh, we can just see... Basically, I mean, I think what I need to do is just play a little bit more safer. We can actually kill that guy straight out. Splashdown that... Fortunately, didn't get so lucky with that one. I have to kind of have to wait for the missiles to wait. Uh, wait out the missiles in that situation there. I should get smashed on the zone. We should have to get it from that. And the Booyah Bomb was actually pretty nice there. Luckily, he didn't actually throw that onto the zone. Luckily for me, I guess. Oh, that guy has Ninja Squid? Actually, I'm gonna back up. This is like... There's a bunch of green ink there, and it's not... The, I'm not in the greatest position either, so... Oh, okay. A little bit of a bad aim there, but we're okay. That guy's just hanging in a corner. There we go, out of the splashdown. Oh, hello! Uh, uh, uh. Thank you very much. It's a trade. 
it took a lot. It was a kind of a long train, not gonna lie, but hey, it was been done. Uh, just making sure my camera is still recording. Oh my god, I don't think my camera was recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, either way. Going to take these guys out straight away. I'm going to splash down right here. This guy should die. Thank you very much. Okay. And we should be fine at this point, honestly. Like, I think I can just go ahead and jump to the beacon on the left side. And... Yeah. This is going to be another done game right here. Okay, so hopefully my camera was recording throughout the whole of that because uh, I'm not actually going to be able to tell. <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to tell. Uh, but either way, that was a good game. We still won it. We did everything we needed it to. And yeah, good game. Plus three. Shall see you guys in the plaza. Okay, everyone, so I hope I showed you guys a pretty good example of me using motion controls with the hands and all that type of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this series uh, as it goes and continues. And yeah, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to smash the like button. It will be very much appreciated. And uh, hope you guys go ahead, follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch. Do it for both of you feeling generous. Uh, go ahead, follow the Discord in the description below. Talk to myself and the Dude Society community. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And uh, all that type of stuff. So thank you very much everyone. Shall see you guys in a future video.